Hey everyone, and welcome back to Embroidery Tutorials. We are still stitching through my 90 variation chain stitch sampler, and we're currently on circle four. So grab a pattern if you would like to sew along with us. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description. Today's gonna be a pretty short video because we're just covering one stitch, but this stitch really does kind of stand alone. So I didn't want to combine it with anything else. We will touch on some variations of this stitch in later circles, but for some reason I put the original one out here on its own. So here we go. This is cable chain stitch. It is still very much chain stitch, but it ends up having a very different look. It looks like cable chains. It, it's perfectly named for what it is. It has these really cool oval circles instead of that teardrop shape that we see in the chain stitch. And it has a completely different way to sew it, and yet the basis is still the same technique. It, it's pretty cool. So we're going to get started with this today, and I hope you enjoy learning something new if you haven't seen this one before. We're going to start out by doing one regular chain stitch. This is just sort of the anchor and this isn't necessarily the only way to do it. I've seen people do cable chain stitch without using a sort of regular chain anchor on one side, but I find this the easiest way. So we're going to go with this. So you're creating that very first chain by coming up through the fabric, going back down in the same location, and then coming up one stitch length away and going through the loop that you've created. From there, we're going to get into actual cable chain now. Um, one thing I will say is I usually, I don't know if there's official names for these, but I usually teach what I call stab method of sewing. So it's all bring your needle through the fabric, bring it back through the fabric. You're going up and you're going down. You're not really um, going up and down at the same time, if that makes sense, which I call like the, the slide version of sewing. A lot of people will exclusively do this sort of slide version of sewing where you're always putting your needle down through the fabric and back up through the fabric before you draw it all the way through. For some reason, I've never much liked that version of embroidery. I just, I don't enjoy doing that as much. I like the full on stabbing feeling of going all the way through the fabric and back through the other direction. But there are a few stitches where it is just, if you try to do the stab method of sewing, it makes the stitch way more confusing and this is one of them you really do need to do the slide method so just make sure that you are able to put your needle down through the fabric and up through the fabric without drawing it all the way through and that'll make cable chain stitch so much easier so now that we've created that anchor chain your next step is going to be to wrap the thread once around the needle um, this is going away from you and then back towards you so if you hold your needle sort of just horizontal straight in front of you bring that thread over the needle away from you and and then under the needle towards you. And then holding that thread around the needle, you're gonna put the needle back in the fabric just a little ways away from your first stitch. This is not your stitch length, so you want it to be pretty close to the top of your loop. If you want, you can do it further away, and then your cable chain is going to have cable long straight stitch, cable long straight stitch, if that makes sense, um, which is a great look as well. So for now, just do it a little ways away from the top of that stitch, and then then pull your thread tight around your needle. Before you draw your needle through the fabric, you're gonna go ahead and bring it back out on the top, one stitch length away. This is the length of your actual cable chain. So this is where you want that full stitch length there. And now before you draw your needle all the way through, you're taking that leftover thread, your tail there, and you're wrapping it in the opposite direction underneath the needle. So that first wrap that you did around the needle went from the left to the right and back under the needle to the left. And now we're just gonna go back under the needle up at the top here towards the right again. That's how we're creating that loop of our cable chain. Make sure it's pulled nice and tight and then you can draw the needle all the way through and you'll see we've got our very first nice oval cable chain here. So in the end, it is really simple. This can be a bit confusing at first if you're trying to do it in a different direction or if you're stitching it upside down or something. But if you just start out by going in the same direction that I'm showing here, it'll all be really simple. Again, we're holding that needle horizontally. We're wrapping the thread once around it it, over the needle then under the needle going into the fabric not too far away because this isn't your actual stitch and then coming back out through the fabric one stitch length away the thread wraps underneath the needle from the left to the right and then the needle pulls through Thank you. 
this is at least a pretty easy one to end off. Once we get to the end here, we're just gonna do one last tacking stitch on our final chain all the way through the fabric and you're good to go. I love the look of this. I have yet to find a reason to use cable chain in an actual piece, but it, it's gotta come up soon. I gotta use this for something because it's so unique and it really stands out as something all of its own. And yet it's still technically chain stitch. So that's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed learning this stitch. It was very new to me when I first heard about it about six months ago, and I really had fun picking it up. After a couple tries, I was able to have it locked into my brain just as much as regular chain. So we are going to be moving on in our next tutorial to a couple more very interesting stitches that quite often stump me. So I hope you guys will come back for that. I will see you then, and thanks so much for watching.